Welcome to the video submission for Group Effective Robotics. Our project is called Cloudy with a chance of synergy. It aims to leverage the power of the cloud in building a shared workspace between humans and robots where these agents can effectively communicate across multiple dimensions including EG signals and augmented reality and thus collaborate smoothly and safely. The manufacturing industry has over the years invested heavily in automating the factory floor with an exponential number of robots being deployed every year to work alongside humans in the assembly line. However, the recent fatal incidents in the Volkswagen factory has tainted this rosy picture and so would drain in the promise of robots and humans collaborating on the factory floor. So we ask what exactly went wrong. At the core of this problem is what we refer to as the impedance mismatch between how humans and robots think. Despite the progress made in natural language processing, natural language understanding is still a largely unsolved problem and as such robots find it difficult to understand human intentions and also to express their own intentions to the human. Thus, there is a significant communication barrier from both sides. We aim to solve this problem by one, using brain signals to make a presentation of a mental model of the human directly accessible to the robot, and two, using augmented reality to provide a mutually understood platform or vocabulary of communication. This forms the core of our group, which is named after the words effective, referring to the affective or mental state of the human, and effective, referring to developing a shared language for effective communication. There are two major components to the system. The consciousness cloud, which provides the robots real-time shared access to the mental state of all the humans in the workspace, and two, the augmented workspace, which allows the robots to communicate with their human co-workers in the virtual space. We will now go through each of these systems one at a time. We identify different modalities of EEG-based feedback, such as event-related potentials or ERPs like P300 that can provide insight into humans' responses like surprise or discrete events, affective states like stress, balance, anger, etc. that can provide longer term feedback on how the human evaluates interactions with the robot and algorithm that, that can relate to factors such as task engagement and focus of the human teammate. The consciousness cloud locks the mental state of all the humans in the shared workspace and makes it available to the robots in the form of a real time accessible presentation to the mental model of the humans. The agents can thus choose to one query the consciousness cloud about particulars like stress levels of the current mental state or to receive specific alerts related to the human's response to events such as oddball incidents like safety hazards and corresponding P300 spikes in the environment. Here you can see the two subsystems of the consciousness cloud, namely the affective state monitor and the discrete event monitor. In the affective state monitoring system, the affective signals are generated by the emotive epoch headset worn by the human. These metrics are directly fed into the RabbitMQ called raw effective queue to be used for visualization and a reward signal calculated from the metrics is fed into the reward queue. The robot directly consumes the reward queue and the signals that appear during an action execution is considered as the action reward or environment feedback by the AI agent which implements a reinforcement learning agent. For the discrete event monitoring system, the raw EG signals from the brain are sampled and written to our RabbitMQ queue called EGQ. This queue is being consumed by our machine learning on classifier module, which is the Python daemon running on an Azure server. It, when the Python daemon is spawned, it trains an SVM classifier using a set of previously labeled EG signals. The signals consumed from the queue are first passed through a feature extractor, and the extracted features are used by the SVM to detect specific events like eye blinks. For each event, a, a, a corresponding command is said to the robot command queue which is consumed by the robot. For example, if a stop command is sent for the blink event, it would cause the robot to halt its current operation. In the following video, we provide a demonstration of the current system. The first part shows how the robot can respond to discrete events such as eye blinks, which can prompt the robot to stop its action immediately via an abort signal from the consciousness cloud. The second part of the video shows how a learning agent can use the affective states of the human to inform its behavior. Here, the robot is building a tower of blocks of height three while the human wants to use the green block. In the training phase, the robot listens to the human's frustration levels and tries to modify his behavior.
As you can see, the robot is now trying out new policies. Again, the robot tries to respond to the human emotions. This goes on till convergence. This concludes the discussion of the consciousness cloud. As we discussed before, the real shared human robot workspace is now integrated with an augmented workspace where the humans and robots can communicate seamlessly by means of holograms. For example, a robot involved in an assembly task can project the objects it is manipulating into the human's point of view and annotate them with holograms that corresponding to intentions to use or pick up. The human can in turn access or claim a particular object in virtual space and force the robot to replan without there ever being any conflict or intentions in the real space. The human in the loop can thus not only infer the robot's intent immediately, from these holographic projections, but they can interact with them to communicate their own intentions directly and modify the robot's behavior online. In this augmented workspace, the HoloLens communicates through the REST API server. The API server itself is implemented in Python using the Flask Web Server Framework. All external traffic to the server is handled by an Apache 2 server that communicates with the Python application through a WSCI middle layer. The, the Apache 2 server ensures that the server can easily support a large number of concurrent requests. The REST server exposes both gate and post endpoints. The, get link, the get links provide the HoloLens application with the current state of the workspace, while the post link provides the HoloLens app control over the robot's operation. The API server first tries to fetch the robot state from the memcache layer and would only try a direct query from the MySQL database if the cache entry is older than a specified limit. Each query to the MySQL database also causes the corresponding database entry to be updated which ensures that the future calls can also get the updated value. MySQL server itself is updated by the daemon that runs on Azure and keeps consuming state messages sent in the robot state queue by the robot. We will now look at a simple demonstration of the augmented workspace. Here the robot is again building towers of blocks and the human again wants to use the green block. The human asks for the state update, surveys the situation, claims the block, and the robot replants accordingly. All this works seamlessly via sh shared state representation on the cloud and a shared language of communication via holographic projections. This concludes the discussion of the augmented workspace. Together, the consciousness cloud and the augmented workspace can usher in the next generation of manufacturing workspaces by improving safety and collaboration among humans and automated components. This is especially ready for easy integration into already existing pl platforms by retrofitting industrial safety hats and goggles already worn by their workers with EG electrodes and the HoloLenses. Thus, our technology addresses a clear need, while at the same time provides a solution that can be effectively integrated into existing workflows. This brings us to the conclusion of our video submission. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the finals.